Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the epiphany of all whoreisms. My best friend called me this morning and she told me that I could talk about this. Her husband called her and asked her, could he have a baby by another woman? <laughs> She said yes, because all the things that she put him through, emotionally, her being at work for a whole 15 years for them to pay off for their house. He told her, he made his decision 11 years ago to have a baby by another person. Come to find out, he has a baby with her sister. Her sister be all out in the street yelling at her, calling her names, making her feel bad that she don't know why, that she's going through that predicament. And excuse the background. Somebody, I'm at a dry park and somebody's talking to another person. She said she would like to take her wig and split it in two and call her all kind of names, throw alcohol on herself and just let her have it. What is that going to do if you displayed that type of action? And you want yourself to be exuberant of all of the things that has happened in your life. You want yourself to go and be a clause in the classmates of thieves. With all of the things that you can muster up, you got the nerve enough to wait until they've been together for 30 years. And he made one mistake. So when he revealed it, you went and filed child support to get child support money because of the things that you have been doing with her. So now he's threatening to move out with her sister because he said he felt like her sister took care of her responsibilities more than her. It's always going to be something in this life. When you go in your original dreams, you see why you go through what you go through. Just to get somewhere in the mannerism of hate. I know how I feel about all of these things that are happening in this life. And how you can look and see how you approve of everything that's going on. So her husband moves out. With her sister. Stayed over there with her. For a whole three years. In this fact. It was in the mannerism. Of all trilogy. How could you master. These things. When you know. That you have what it takes to be. In the epiphany of the above. If there was something. That you could give yourself. Know that this is an alliance for anybody to be clear. That she lost her apartment. And the sister called her and asked her, could she come stay with her? This is where she had to show tough love because she is a person that has been passive against. My best friend never wants me to tell her name nor would I allow myself to say her name allowed her sister to come stay with her with her ex-husband of 30 years he looked and he started hitting on the sister because he just now realized that the mistake that he made was a cluster of all of the things that are happening in this life in this particular pattern, how can you be able to see your own clans 
when you don't even know what part of the trilogy you're supposed to be a part of. How can you go and be a person that is epiphanized in all of these things that are making it in the makeshift of honor? What can you do to keep yourself involved in these things? If there is something that you could do to keep yourself together. How can you see yourself as being made into a rivalry with one person? So her sister looks at her and says, I apologize. She just now found her another apartment. They called her and told her that she was approved for her apartment. She says, since you guys talked about this, I'm going to leave the son that I had by your husband with you. You know what happened? They got a better life now. Of all of the things that happened in the past, present, and future, you see why things go on in the dungeon of life how can you perceive as being made whole from this that's where God is God sees no mistakes and what you made is not the truth whatever the case may be they talked about it and he talked to her like she is his mother she says she is glad that he is not comparing parenting and he is living his 13 year old life now has completed high school because he is that smart and he has his way in college now it's a total of two years she told him to go get a job with that he did now the mother is coming back over there asking her sister him for eight hundred dollars a month to pay for her apartment until somebody shot him around the corner her sister wanted him to go sell drugs. And there was a lot of people that was upset about that. He was murdered. In the rights of everything that we do have in our life. How can she not cry about that? And why did the husband leave her? Because of the course of action that happened to her. His son. That he had with her sister. Leave your comments in the comment area below. God got this whole scenario, this whole story. Keep your head up because you never know how it's going to be. But I'm going to tell you something. I've never in my life wanted something so much to be talked about. And I'm hoping I have some strong, keen-minded men on here to help me to be able to understand. Thank you so much. Have a good